Hey guys, so as a follow-up to my previous video, I'm going to show you how you can synchronize your project. So you create a project, you drop it in the proper folder, and then it's going to upload it automatically online to your Splice account. We're going to do that through the desktop application for Splice. So here on my screen, I have on the right side the, the app, and on the left side, I have um, my uh, Splice account. So I'm on the studio on the studio page and then underneath that I'm into project by default. So I only have one project here, which is the Live It Up Remix. Uh, I will be releasing that um, remix as a free um, FLP once I reach a thousand subscribers. So please uh, make sure you subscribe. And um, here on the in the app, you can see I have three projects. So these two, just ignore them. They were added automatically. But this is the one that counts. This is the file that I dropped. So we only have one project here in this window because I only have one project right here in uh, my splice folder. And we saw in the previous video that this folder is set as the special uh, splice location where um, uh, the application is going to uh, look for projects and uh, synchronize them. All right. So I'm going to um, now uh, create a new project file in FL Studio and then show you how the whole process works. So you can see here, I just created um, this uh, playlist right here, and uh, it's just made up of kicks. So it's not a, a full song, definitely not, but it's just to show you how it works. So instead of saving that um, inside the, um, the project folder, I'm saving it right here. And if you check the app again, the Splice app, under uh, the settings, you can see that this is our splice folder here that's why i'm saving it right here so let's save it um tutorial example i'm saving it right here so i go here right now i can see it and it's seen here save is synchronizing so you can click here and you will not see anything right so if you check uh, again in the previous video, I said that uh, whenever it's synchronizing, the changes do not appear here in real time. So let's check if we can see that online. And when we refresh this page, we can see this tutorial example. So I'm going to quit the uh, Splice application and reload it. And now we can see that we have our project right here. So there's a really cool thing here. If I close this FL Studio projects and I'm online, I can say open. This is version one. Keep in mind, this is version one. We've not overwritten anything. So this is version one. If I say opening, it's going to open the FL Studio application on my computer, although the button is on the splice.com website okay so it's the same thing here i'm going to close this again and if i go here in the application and then i click on open right here it's actually going to download whatever version we have here because it's synchronized and then open it so you can see downloading tutorial example and then it's opening the file and we have this here which is the kick just like we saved it so this is how you can actually synchronize projects now uh, in the next video i'm going to cover deletion how do you delete does it mean that if you delete uh your local file you also delete what is online for instance so we're going to look at that in the next video all right so once again if uh you are pleased with this series please make sure you subscribe to this channel you like this video and you share it and if you have any uh, questions or uh, anything that you want to tell me, just leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Cheers.